Hey, it's Aaron the Hope from MobileReviewsA.C and today you're going to find out why the Urban Armor Gear case, I've got the Outland version, is one of our go-to cases for the iPhone 6. Now right off the bat, there aren't any fatal flaws to this case. What I'm going to say next is me being very, very picky. I'm not a big fan of how matte the back is. It feels very, very slippy. There's not a lot to grip onto. And the next thing is that the edges of the case are a tad high for my liking. But despite those tiny, tiny things, this case is really good. We gave it a score of 4.3 A's out of 5. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, A. Eh? At mobilereviewsa.ca, everything that we review is based on real usage. And no, this is an actual real horse and they're not eating out of my hand. It's just a picture. With the Urban Armor Gear case for the iPhone 6, this was our go-to case for about four days. We took it to the gym and we used it to film my uh, form for my front squats. We dropped it from four feet, which is the drop height that they specified. And probably most importantly is that we spent a lot of time comparing this case against the Spec Candy Shell, the Spigen Tough Armor, as well as the OtterBox Symmetry. I'm going to take the next few minutes, go over some of the details that I feel are important. If you need how we score everything, do check out our website. We've got a review table that lists out all the scores that we put against any iPhone Slim case that we review. I do have to give a shout out to David Durr, who is one of our Patreon supporters. His patronage is going to help me keep doing what I like doing on the internet, making videos about iPhone cases. In terms of design, the case is slim, and the only case that we found is slimmer in our current crop of iPhone 6 cases is the stock Apple silicon case. The Urban Armor Gear fits well together, the case is far enough from the edges so that screen protectors don't get scratched off by it, and the material seemed to wear well over time. The case does look very, very unique. I didn't take any points off for, you know, the weird cutouts and whatnot um, for this category. My wife doesn't like the look of this case. It's too boyish, according to her. But it just seems odd because there's cutouts and there's fake screws. Now we asked on our Facebook page what people thought about the back of this case. Anson Chu said, you know, so people know that you prefer the gold iPhones. Frank Kelly said it's probably there to keep your iPhone cool. Joss Graham said the slits were there to make the buttons less stiff, which is a very reasonable explanation. And Martin said that they're dust holders. But seriously, what is with those holes? The top hole, you can actually see it, like sits on the middle of the Apple logo, so you get to see the shiny part of the Apple, but you don't actually know it's the Apple logo. And then the bottom cutout, you get to see the word Dahan. Right? It's supposed to say iPhone, but it's cut off so you see the Han. In terms of protection, the Urban Armor Gear case for the iPhone 6 is actually one of the very few cases that is drop rated out of our current selection of iPhone 6 cases. It's droppable from a height of 4 feet, and we can safely say that you can drop your iPhone from 4 feet in this case, which is about texting height for the average person. I will talk about dust protection. I don't think this case does as well because again, there's all these slits and there's all these cutouts. I'm not a big fan of having parts of my uh, iPhone case exposed, especially on the back. Dust and debris could get in and scratch your iPhone. I did talk about the screen protector in our drop test, so I'm not going to rehash that. But again, details are on our website. Now, in terms of handling your iPhone inside this case, it, again, it does feel a little slick for my liking. Um, some people might find that it might slip out of your hand too easily. Now, if you're concerned about it sliding off a table easily, don't worry because the uh, Urban Armor Gear case for the iPhone 6 has these skids in the corners and so they kind of, the rubbery, and so they kind of stop your iPhone from moving when you put it on a flat surface. Again, the edges, again, bother me, but there's, they don't get in the way of typing. I will note that there is a nice design feature in terms of the headphone jack. Because the iPhone 6 is curved and your headphone jacks are usually flat, what they've done is increase the surface so that you can plug your headphone jack. It just makes it a little more stable. A lot of the other cases don't have this, you know, the Spec Candy Shell and the Urban, the Spec Candy Shell, the OtterBox uh, Symmetry, they have these big cutouts so that, you know, you could put whatever headphones in there. But this one, Urban Armor Gear seems to just put a little bit more thought into it. Now, before we get to the quick comparison between those cases, if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Um, we put out content two to three times a week at least. Um, it's been pretty crazy with the iPhone 6. We've been putting videos out almost every single day because we've got all these cases coming in. And speaking of cases, I've probably spent about $700 on cases. These cases don't come for free. I try to get as much free stuff as I possibly can. Most of the time I don't. So if you do like what we're doing, do consider supporting me like David Durr on Patreon. Um, your patronage greatly helps what I do. Now this case, when compared to the Spigen Tough Armor, the Autobox Symmetry, and the Spick Candy Shell, um, I like it better than all three of those cases. It's tougher than this uh, Spigen Tough Armor. Um, it's not rated right the Spigen case. Um, it's thinner than the Spigen Tough Armor, though the buttons are easier to get to um, on the Spigen case. Compared to the Spick Candy Shell, 
I'm a big fan of how not greasy this case gets. The spec candy shell I find gets really, really greasy and then the buttons are actually quite tough to get to. Now for the Autobox Symmetry, um, <laughs> it's just better than the Autobox Symmetry. It's much smaller. This case is much smaller than the Autobox Symmetry. The buttons work better. You know, you can actually use this phone, your iPhone 6, in this case with one hand easily. I find, I found that I could not with the OtterBox Symmetry. Now, if you need the full comparison, do check out our website or the videos on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm Aaron the Ho. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Again, yes, this is a picture of a horse. And if you didn't notice at the beginning of the video, there was a pic, there is a, uh, my dog's there. Monty, say hi, Monty. Thanks for watching. Is this illegal to feed beer to horses? I'm trying to find, I'm trying to film things after work hours theoretically. It's past five and there's like four people outside on their phones walking around. Like, frick. I'm in this tiny, tiny little room just to get away from the noise and they're just like walking around being loud. I'm talking on the phone about cheese. Blah.